We are now joined by the recently promoted Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Laura Trotter. Very good morning to you and welcome to the programme. Good morning. What can we expect tomorrow? We were hearing Thank from Christopher Hope, me. you're very welcome, um, that we can expect to see something on probably what looks like national insurance and uh, any hope of any relief uh, on inheritance tax could well come in the spring next year. Does that sound like a fair prediction for tomorrow? I'm afraid I'm going to be slightly disappointing because I can't comment on any individual taxes before the autumn statement tomorrow. But what I can say is that the economy has turned a corner. You will remember where we were a year ago. It was a very difficult situation after the war in Ukraine with energy prices spiking, inflation at 11%. And the Prime Minister and Chancellor have taken some really difficult decisions in the last year, which has meant that inflation has now halved as at 4.6%. That is great news for everybody at home who we know have been and struggling with the cost of living. And it means now the Chancellor is focusing tomorrow on growing the economy, making sure we are increasing the amount of supply side capacity, that's the amount that we can produce in this country. And a part of that is a path to lower taxes because we know how important that is to everybody sitting at home. Why not? So you say you, say, um, you, know, you can't comment, Laura, ahead of uh, the announcement, but um, can you indicate to us if he has some wriggle room or not? What I can say is the economy is um, is improving. That's because of the difficult decisions we've taken. You know, we do feel like we're at a different point now. Inflation is coming down. Real wages are going up, which is very very important for everybody sitting and listening to this. So we are at a different point. I mean, you know, Eamon, you've been through this a few times before. Uh, it's the day before the autumn statement, so I've got to be very careful in terms of what I'm saying. I'm also in my first week, as you rightly pointed out, in a new job. So I've got to be careful not to get myself well, into trouble. But um, we are at a different point in terms of the economy now. And you talk about the difficult decisions and lots of people will be scratching their heads and thinking, why don't you just unfreeze the tax thresholds where we see people, hardworking people who should not be in that top bracket being dragged in uh, because of inflation. And we know that that's something that is on the table and has been considered, but presumably it is not being put forward for tomorrow. But there is a risk, isn't there, with all of these interviews that we've had over the last few days and no one actually making any announcements, that a lot of people are going to end up being disappointed tomorrow. You know, a lot of people will be hoping for those tax thresholds to be changed. There's also people who are going to be uh, worried about their welfare uh, benefits being capped in some way to, to make changes in other places. There's two things I would say to that. Firstly, in terms of tax thresholds, there were some really difficult decisions that needed to be taken a year ago. These are uncomfortable decisions for any government, let alone a Conservative one. But it's because of that that we are in the position that we are today. And I would point to the difference between us, the Conservative Party, and the Labour Party, who have opposed every single thing that we've done in the last year to keep inflation down, and more than that, have not learnt the lessons. They've said that they're going to be borrowing £28 billion more, which means higher interest rates, higher mortgage rates, and more taxes for people at home. And in terms of the speculation, I know it's very frustrating, but we, I think people can see that the Prime Minister and Chancellor's plan for the economy is making a real difference. And that is why we're having this speculation. That's why we're in this position, because the plan is working. Laura, what, what, is, your, what is your job within the, the Treasury? You've, spe you've spent a lot of your life working in finance and figures and at the Treasury there and whatever. Can you say anything to people who've got money invested in pensions, for instance, that, you know, you're looking after those well or those could come to a better fruition than people may have thought a few years ago? Well, you're right, Eamon. We're making a really important announcement about private pensions today. And that is about making sure that they are invested in high growth British companies. It's about encouraging that investment to make sure that people are getting high returns on their savings. Because we know the way pensions are now is not what's so called defined benefit, which is a set outcome in terms of how much you get in retirement. It completely depends on how much you get in retirement, on how much money your money earns as you go through, on the returns. And so we've got to boost those. That's good for individuals. It's good for individuals' pensions. It's also good for the economy. So that's what we are focusing on doing. It's things like this, which all will drive growth in the economy, which will mean we'll have more money to spend on public services and to cut taxes. Um, Laura, a moment ago, you were talking about learning the lessons of the last year. Um, obviously, the COVID inquiry is going on at the moment about learning the lessons of the pandemic. And your boss, the Prime Minister, being characterised as, some would say, reckless uh, in his description, just letting people die with his eat out to help out scheme. Um, what do you have to say about that? 
I think we've set up this independent COVID inquiry to make sure that we have, we do learn the lessons of what happened during COVID. Now, I was a backbencher at the time, but I saw a government doing its absolute best to try and protect both lives and livelihoods. You know, most people you know, watching this programme will have got to know Rishi when he was standing up as Chancellor and, taught, and announcing millions of pounds of support for people of, for furlough to help them to stay at home but make sure they, that we were protecting their incomes. Now, of course, mistakes would have been made. We all know that. Uh, but the inquiry have got some very big questions to answer, to look at, to make sure that we are better prepared for next time. And I think it's really important as a government minister that I let them do their, their work. Well, you do your work tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you centre stage tomorrow, uh, Laura. And could I just congratulate you on your promotion because both Isabel and I believe that maybe, maybe we are talking to a future Chancellor of the Exchequer um, this morning. We wish you well, whatever your ambition is. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you very much. Lovely to speak to you both. Thank you.